Hi, would you like to learn about some of the best textbooks to help you study and improve your English? Welcome to Jen's Jugio. My name is Jen and today I'm going to introduce you to some of my favorite English textbooks that I highly recommend for people who are learning English. All of the textbooks that I introduce you to today to help you improve your English will be written in the description below along with links that you can use to find the textbooks on Amazon so you can check them out for yourself. I've been teaching English for over 12 years now and I have seen and used a lot of different textbooks. But my all-time favorite textbook and textbook series is Focus on Grammar. The Focus on Grammar textbooks are really amazing in my opinion because they always start with a brief story or some way that will introduce you to the grammar. Then they have an amazing presentation of the grammar, showing you the correct formulas and structures for the grammar points that you need. There's usually a section that has really valuable grammar notes and grammar tips that explains more details about the grammar points that you need. There's various exercises that you can do to help you focus on that element of grammar and learn how to do it and practice using it. The great thing about the Focus on Grammar textbooks is that the grammar that they're teaching you and the way they're teaching it to you helps you to be able to use the grammar naturally in your own conversations and in your own writing. It's an excellent textbook for helping you to communicate day to day with correct grammar. Another really great point about the Focus on Grammar textbook series and something that you should look for in any type of textbook you buy, especially grammar textbook, is at the back there's something called the appendix and it's a list of different useful charts that you will need while you're studying English. For example, uh, irregular verbs, the simple past and past participle tenses, or which verbs get gerunds, which verbs should get infinitives, and things like that. There are quick charts in the very back of the textbook that you can reference easily to help yourself improve your studies. For the Focus on Grammar series, there's actually five textbooks. You don't have to buy all five, they're based on level. So if you are a beginner student, check out Focus on Grammar 1. It is a yellow book and it is good for beginner students. If you are in between beginner and intermediate, then I recommend Focus on Grammar 2, which is a blue colored textbook. If you are an intermediate student, I highly recommend Focus on Grammar 3. That's actually the book I have, is Focus on Grammar 3. I personally have the third edition of the textbook, but these days they have the fifth edition available. So obviously I recommend buying the fifth edition because it also has links so that you can use different resources online. If you are upper intermediate, between intermediate and advanced, then I recommend Focus on Grammar 4, which is a purple colored textbook. This is also an excellent textbook which helps to bridge the gap between intermediate and advanced and still focuses on teaching grammar points that are used in daily conversations. Finally, Focus on Grammar 5, which is a red colored textbook, is for advanced grammar. So if you are an advanced student and you really want to improve and expand your grammar, then I recommend Focus on Grammar an important point to consider when looking at these textbooks and possibly purchasing them is to make sure you are buying the textbook. When I was looking on Amazon earlier, there were a lot of workbooks for sale by themselves. Workbooks just have exercises that you can do to practice the grammar points, but they don't explain the grammar to you. That's what you need the textbook for. Next, Vocabulary in Use is the name of the book, and it introduces you to practical vocabulary that you need for daily conversation and how to use it. For example, in, in this book, this is the intermediate level book. The vocabulary lesson is one of the most difficult ones, make 
do, have, and take. And it explains the differences between those verbs, and then it gives you some exercises to practice. This is very important because in English, we will say, I'm going to have a party. We don't say make a party, which leads me to my next point. One really important thing that can really help English learners to become more fluent is by learning what's called a collocation. Collocations are words that go together naturally in English. But if you change any of the words in that natural set, it will sound strange or weird to native English speakers. Like in my example, make a party is wrong. It sounds weird. You have to say have a party. Some students might incorrectly say something like, oh, there is big rain. No, in English we would say heavy rain. So in terms of improving vocabulary, you don't just need to know individual words and their meanings. It's very important to learn words in these sets, which are called collocations. There are books which are called collocations in use. So for collocations in use, I will put a link to the intermediate level textbook and to the advanced level textbook that will help you to not just learn vocabulary, but learn vocabulary in collocations, which will really take your English to the next level. One thing that a lot of students struggle with in their English is phrasal verbs. So conveniently, the same company makes the same style of textbook, but focusing on Phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs in use are the two textbooks. There's an intermediate level and an advanced level textbook to help you focus on building your vocabulary through phrasal verbs. A phrasal verb is a verb, an action word, plus a preposition like in, on, at, from, to, and you put the verb and the preposition together, which will create a new meaning, which is often different from the original meaning of the verb by itself. That's why phrasal verbs are challenging for students. But with the textbooks, phrasal verbs in use, it makes phrasal verbs easier for you, and you can see how they are used in natural conversations through the examples in the textbooks. In addition, I also have a great playlist full of phrasal verb lessons here on my channel, which you can check out over here. The IELTS test. The first textbook I'd like to recommend to you is actually the official guide to the IELTS test. The same people who have created the actual IELTS test are the same people who have created this textbook. This textbook gives you advice on how the IELTS test works, how the actual scoring system to get the various bands in IELTS will work, and it teaches you test-taking strategies to help you be able to pass the IELTS test. Inside this textbook, in addition to all of this information, they also have eight sample tests. So you can actually take a look at past IELTS exams, actual IELTS exams that were written in the past with sample answers and sample audio for the listening section. In addition, when you're taking the IELTS test, there are actually two types of IELTS test. There's the general IELTS test, which a lot of people take, and then there's also the academic IELTS test, which is harder than the general test. So to help you prepare for the general test or for the academic test, there's also specific textbooks like this that offer you examples of past exams. So you can actually take a look at a real test example from the reading section, from the writing section, from the listening and speaking sections, okay? So you can use this book to see exactly the way past tests were written and what the answers to those past tests were. It gives you a guide on the types of questions you will see, important vocabulary that you would need to be able to succeed and do well on the test. For the general or academic IELTS test, I recommend the newest edition of the book. In 2020, 
they published new editions. So the academic IELTS test and the general IELTS test version number 15 are the newest textbooks. So today I have introduced you to some of my favorite textbooks that I think are the best textbooks to help you study at home by yourself and improve your English. And now it's time for question of the day. Today's question is, what are your favorite resources for studying English? Do you have any favorite textbooks that you like to use for studying? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this lesson. If you found it useful, please subscribe to Jen Studio and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget also to check out the links to these great textbooks in the description and comments below. Good luck with your English studies. See you in the next lesson.